Shaping is a training technique in which tasks are gradually increased in terms of their level of difficulty. In a shaping activity, there are several key components. The first is ensuring that the tasks are set specific to the person's motor deficits. Secondly, the client is provided with frequent feedback around improvements in their quality of arm movement. Thirdly, the tasks are gradually increased in terms of their level of difficulty and progress throughout the program. Finally, the client is provided with modelling, cueing and prompting in relation to task performance. Generally with shaping activities, the same activity is completed in a series of 10 time trials of 30 seconds duration. We're now going to be working with Nicole, a 25 year old stroke survivor, completing a shaping exercise. So in 30 seconds, Nicole, I want you to flip as many of the cards as you can one by one onto the pile there. We're going to do this 10 times and go. stop so that time you got 12 okay so Nicole that was really well done you got 12 cards that time this time what I want you to focus on is really trying to turn your forearm more um, as you're flipping the cards over okay okay you ready and go That's it. keep turning that forearm Stop. Great work. 14. Well done. <laughs> so that's an improvement on the last time and you were definitely uh, turning your forearm more which was excellent. So this time we're going to make it a little bit more challenging. I'm just setting up the cards again exactly as we had them before but you'll see I've now put this block here. So this time you're going to still try and stack as many of the cards as you can but now up onto a height. So you still have 30 seconds, okay, when you're ready. Okay. And go. Between your thumb and your index finger and stop. Very well done. Let me just count how many. 15. So I want you this time, Nicole, to also focus on being as accurate as you can with your movement. So really focus on being as precise as possible. All right, you ready? Go. And stop. Good. So that time was 16, but I am going to put a note down that the quality of your movement was much better that time. Well done. We're now going to check in on Nicole's progress in her two week CIMT program. She's on day three of her program and we're now going to have a look at the progression of her shaping exercises. Okay, Nicole, so you're now a couple of days into your CIMT program. So we're gonna go straight into doing the activity. Are you ready? Yes. And go. And stop. Good. That's 18. So 30 seconds on the clock again. When you're ready and go. Nice precise grip. And stop. Okay, very well done. 20. Excellent. Throughout the CIMT program, the shaping exercises are regularly reviewed, progressed and advanced, ensuring the patient is constantly challenged.